I've been making my own repros for about two years now. And one thing I actually have trouble with is finding labels. And so to solve that problem, I started making my own labels because I'm not going to pay um, somebody else about five bucks just to provide me a reproduction label when I can make it myself for a cheaper price. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make one and even download them to you, I'll provide for free, just like this Ninja Gaiden. I made this one, looks fairly decent. And I agree this was a hard one to find, but when I made it, it looks pretty good. So I just made a custom one, just for the hell of it, and it turned out pretty good. The way I start off with is, I just start taping them down. I don't want them coming up when I tape them down. When I start laying the tape over, just a little bit of tape on each side, solve that issue. And on top, I'm gonna start using those those uh, donor cart cartridges. And here, once I'm done, I start pulling out this Gorilla tape. I don't know if you can see it here, but it's actually very good tape. It's very clear, doesn't have any bubbles. There you go, see, as you can see, it's pretty clear. Uh, no bubbles, very clear, very flexible tape. I recommend it actually, it's about one inch wider than your typical packing tape, which makes it a very good uh, overlay for your labels for NES, Genesis, and even Super Nintendo. As you can see my fingers, I'm pulling right out, no trouble. You'll see a little bit of a residue, but it'll go away once you start cleaning it up, and I'll show you later. That's gonna be no problem. And just gonna cut off with a simple razor blade. I mean, the correction. Uh, exacto knife. And I'll do the same for the others. And it was that easy. Done. And I don't even put a little lip on it. I just close it all up because I can always pick at it. Pretty, it's pretty easy. I don't have my little guitar pick plastic thing to rub it on there, so I'm just gonna use the back of my scissors to get all the uh, water bubbles are in there. Once I'm done, just peel them on off. It's gonna be no issues. I'm just careful not to rip the paper. I don't wanna get it all messed up. I already went along the process with this already. Once I'm done, I'll just continue on with the other ones. Make sure I cut off the edges. I don't want any residue when I start cutting it. It gets in the way of the blade. And here, I have my simple little Things called the Marshalls uh, paper cutter. I got it really cheap. Um, it does the job really well. It's very simple. The Exacto blades or the blades that they use are like pretty common. You get them anywhere, and um, they load up pretty simple. And uh, when you uh, click it in, just close it on up and start using it. It's not a very complicated system. Very cheap too. When I started doing this. Uh, I found out it was pretty cheap uh, to make your own labels. Um, I designed them. When I made them, I put about six on one paper. And once I did that, made sure I cropped them up, made them all fit, put them on my file, take them down to Staples, and they would print you out that sheet, or you could print it out yourself, depending on what you want to do. And it'll cost you around 49 cents, you know, for, for one page with six labels. You can make multiples, you can make them uh, one of each of whatever you want. And the tape that I bought, that I showed you earlier, it cost me about about five bucks. And it was fairly inexpensive for me to start my own uh, label project. And uh, it's not really hard to make your own. And for me to cut, not an issue because this might be look time consuming, but it's really not. I mean, it's your labels. I mean, I'm not making this for a uh, for profit. I'm just just to make my. I'm just, just doing this to to make my my games look better. Because I'm not. Gonna, I'm tired of playing a game with with no label on it. I don't even know what I'm I'm looking at. Until once I'm done, I have this little cheap uh, corner cutter I got from Amazon. Again, this thing wasn't even expensive. It was like I think about seven bucks. It has two sizes. Four millimeter, seven millimeter, and ten millimeter, but I I just use the four millimeter because it it does well to uh for all the sizes for all the cartridges. It's like one size fits all, simple to clean, doesn't get stuck, 
not very complicated and that's how I want to keep it as you can see uh, looks pretty good oh slippery hands ninja game start look good looks a little dirty still but we haven't cleaned the label yet I'll show you that later and you have my little custom gradius label here I really like it and I am going to put the Nintendo logo on it because it's my label it's not going anywhere and this is the, the glue I'm going to use uh, it's very good it doesn't leave any residue and it doesn't leave that notorious wet spots when you spray it on the label itself it dries and it doesn't ruin the picture it's it's very glue very good glue I don't know why um, I don't see it more often on videos when people are making their own labels but very good glue and in here uh, I'm gonna start late putting a label on for a uh, ninja Gaiden uh, it's actually not a repro I just had this game but never had a label for it and it started annoying me so I just made my own label toss it in there and here you go it's a fairly simple process you might think it's a little odd the way I'm going to use it I mean put it on because I'm going to start from the the, the end level portion first but it's uh I have actually a reason for that I have to make sure that the label itself will fit at the bottom so if I have to make any cuts I'm not going to remove the label I'm actually going to press it down get everything flat and actually cut any excess from the bottom because I really don't have any room on top because of the title I'll remove any any uh, red spots from the bottom because I have more space to get rid of from there than than from where 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 I started see I'm starting to look good and I don't have to make any cuts because my measurements are good both uh, during the cutting and printing I don't know if you notice but that gold label belongs to another cart I don't know what happened but somewhere in the other line I got mixed up Moving on with Gradius, this is a repro. Uh, this cart's seen some better days. I, I used an old TNC surf game, and um, I, I really don't like that game. I think that game's pretty bad. So, to give it new life, take the chips out, and use the, uh, I think I used the M27C512 chips. And these chips could just be plopped onto the board without any rewiring and uh, it worked out well I didn't have any issues with it and again these, this card could have seen some better days but it's mine and I'm gonna make it a Gradius game and I'm gonna use the original label for this and I actually think I did a better job than what you could find on the internet for free because the other ones they just I don't think they're, they're made very well so it took some time um, scaled it to a good size to what the original may look like and and I think I did a pretty good job at the end uh, just because I, I find out that this is, the label could fit I, I could start from the bottom because I don't I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna have to I don't have to cut and looking down looks pretty good once I'm done, before I lay down the label from the corner, I kind of press the corners just to make sure I can actually flex that tape. That way it doesn't have to pop up. And the glue with this tape that I'm using does very well to stay put once I press it down. I'm using the same um, uh, same board from the other the other cart, I'm just going to put it on my custom uh, NES cartridge and put it in there. As you can see, the stickers I use, they're just, they're just barking at you. They're just looking at you. I'm about to get rid of that, and I'll show you how. It's very simple. And use my old label. Put it on in. And no issues, because my measurements are pretty good. I don't, I don't have to worry about cutting any, uh, any corners or removing some of the paper. Anyways, it would have been too late. I already put glue on on the backs of them. See, no issues. Going on there with no, no problem at all. Make sure my sides are good. Clean up my mess. Trying to keep a good, clean work area. And I don't want 
any glue laying around. I don't want stuff falling on it. See, look, almost done. And my cartridges look a whole lot better than they did before. Just push it on down just like I did with the other Gradius cart. And again, I'm not going to have any problems with these labels coming back up. The glue is very good. So I recommend that Elmer's glue to anybody that wants to make their own labels. And make sure you try to find this tape. It's actually extra, extra wide, giving you another inch of width. That way you can cover all the labels, especially for uh, Genesis carts. As you can see, the labels, no bubbles. And uh, it's still a little dirty, but I want to show you how I wanted to clean that up. All I do is just a simple uh, rag that you clean glass with. The material, it's, it feels kind of coarse, but it, it's not to a point where it actually scratches the label. But it does like warm it up, the glue under it. It makes it really, really clean. And once I'm done rubbing it all down, it takes that adhesive that was actually that residue that was on the label. And it starts shining everything up. Takes that off, makes it clean. And looks I have to, I have to say, it looks pretty good. Same thing with this Gradius one. Looks really, really good. Even the print job was good. Staples does a really well job of making good prints. I'll show you again those chips. All I put is a black marker to those those uh, yellow stickers, and you can't see them anymore. It makes the cartridge look more aesthetically pleasing. And my Ninja Gaiden looks really good. I have no issues with the with the measurements and some of that buffing made it nice look look nice and shiny. And I did this one off camera. Ghostbusters, this is the New York Paint version, another repro. I had trouble finding a, a label for this online, so I got sick and tired of it and made my own label and put it on there. And I have to say, it does look good. And just show you these carts that do work. This is a holy diver. I actually made this one earlier and the print job it, it's really bad and I'm about to replace that because the the printer didn't get all the black and I, I'll have to get rid of this later I'm really disappointed with the print job I shouldn't even never put it on there you see holy diver he's a TK ROM for this I think it's an old stupid stealth game I'm glad I took care of it Ghostbusters, as you can see, this is the European version. Boom. Gradius. I have to say, it does look nice. Toss it in there, turn it on, make sure it works. And bam, no issues. I'll give you a little quick glimpse of my, my, my skills. Oh, yeah, I'm very good. Ninja Gaiden. Now it has a a game label to it. I think I had this game for like four years. I was getting tired of looking at it like that. And boom. And here are my labels. I put these onto a PDF file and scaled them down to the size needed to be put on carts, so nobody has to do any uh, measurements. Uh, I made these myself. From uh, images I found online, and I'm gonna put them on my Mediafire webpage for anybody to download if they want them. I don't think people should have to pay for any labels if they want them. I mean, you can make your own, but I'll make it easier for people. If you want these labels, go ahead and download them. They're yours. They're yours to take. I hope you like them. Enjoy.